Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. In this video, we will learn about meter bridge. It is a modified form of Wheatstone bridge. The device is here is known as meter bridge. It is another form of Wheatstone bridge. It consists of 1 meter long laminate wire stretched beside meter scale. They are placed on wooden board. The two ends of the wire is soldered on copper strip C and the copper strip D. Here there is one more copper strip E is placed at this end which forms a bridge. Here there is a gap between C and E known as a G bridge. And here there is a gap present between D and the metal strip E. This gap is named as G2. Now, uh, to the point E, a jack is connected through a galvanometer and a high resistance. Then the E is connected to negative terminal of the power supply and uh, Positive terminal is connected to end B through a plug key. When I, press, uh, when I place this uh, plug key here and turn on this, current flows through meter bridge. So I turn this off. Here, an unknown resistance P is connected to gap G1 and a standard resistance is connected to gap G2. Now I'll pass the current to check whether the connection is correct or not. What we do? We press the jockey on one end. Suppose I press this on right side. When I press this on right side, the deflection must be towards the left side in the galvanometer. If I press the jockey on the left side, the deflection must be towards the right side, to the opposite side. If it is so, the connection is correct. If uh, the deflection is in the same side, in such case, you need to change it. You need to interchange the current. Now, I will find out uh, the balancing unit. I press uh, the jockey here on the right end and I slowly move towards the left. To reduce or at one point the galvanometer shows current chain. And here at this particular point the galvanometer reads zero. This point is called as null deflection. Here the bridge gets a balance. I call this point as J from A to J, this length AJ is taken as L1 from B to this point is called as BJ and this length is known as L2. This is how one can find the, the balancing length in the meter bridge. This device can be used to find the the resistance of unknown resistor. This can also be used to find resistivity of a coil of a wire. Let's find the expression for resistance and resistivity of the given coil of wire. We know the balance condition for a bridge is P upon Q equals to R upon S. Yes. But uh, in the expression, if you see, we do not have R and S. Yes. Here, R is replaced with the resistance of this part of wire. Here, J is the point where 
the galvanometer shows zero deflection that is null deflection here ye j have resistance replaced with r and the remaining length of the wire that is jb provide resistance equal to s so i write it like this in the place of r i write r dash into the length of this part of wire that is aj divided by r dash multiplied with the remaining length of the wire that is j b what is this r dash here r dash is nothing but resistance per unit length so i go ahead before that i just cancel these two parts so what do i get i get the aj upon j b so p upon q equals to aj upon jb so from this diagram the value of aj is l1 and the value of jb is l2 so we get the this equation p upon q equals to l1 upon l2 now from this the value of p so the anode resistance can be obtained by cross multiplication i keep p as such and q is taken to the other side of the equation here it is dividing when it is taken to the right hand side it will multiply so l1 upon l2 into q this is a the expression we get here for the resistance now i will get the expression for resistivity now we know resistance offered to the flow of current by any conductor is directly proportional to length of the conductor and inversely proportional to area of cross section so here if i remove this proportionality and it include a equal to sign and equal to sign with the a constant here the constant is rho we call this one as a proportionality constant l upon a now my aim is to get the the value of rho we know here the resistance is nothing but p in the place of this i write p is equal to rho l upon a now uh, from this rho value can be obtained by taking remaining terms to the other side so here a is dividing when it is taken to the other side it will multiply and here will divide this is the the value of rho i rearrange this and rho is written in this way p a upon l this is the final expression for rho and here a is area so that can be if i uh, mention its value then we get new expression for this in the place of a i write formula of area that is pi r square upon l this is the expression for resistivity of a given coil of wire i hope uh, this video is useful if you have any kind of doubt related to the topic kindly put a question in the comment section thanks for watching